is ready. And now I'm ready. Hello, Once Upon a Time fans. Welcome back to season finale review. We're trying to review Operation Mongoose Part 2. Yes, it was first by um, this individual again. So, yeah, welcome, 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 guys. Yeah, the finale was shocking, epic, and a big sacrifice as well at the end. And a big hint of the big bad villain for series for season 5, which is already in the news a um, couple of days ago. Yeah, it was good. Brilliant, yeah, the big bad item reveal for season 5 is, um, is Merlin. The quest for Merlin is upon us. Oh yeah, quest for Merlin, yeah. Will the heroes find Merlin? Is it time to save Emma? I don't know, we have to find out. Yeah we do! Hell yeah we do! Yes. Yeah, yes, 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 yes. And my favourite part was the ending. The big sacrifice for the team. Heroes of the team, yeah. Perfect, it was going to be. I thought it would be Regina. But it wasn't really Emma. Yes, at the end you saw. Um, the wand. The dark. Now, Emma is the dark one now. And you see, at the end, the wand. Dark Lord drops and say Emma's one. No! Yeah, it was a dramatic ending. And Emma looking at um, Robin Regina and then looking at Hook. Then looking at um, Emma. It was a really good episode, fantastic and brilliant season finale. Hell yeah, it was. It was really good. Was best season finale ever of Once Upon a Time. Yes, it was. It was actually really good. From when someone said season in September. So, yeah. I have to wait until Chicago Friday in November. So, big delay. Yeah, yeah big delay. Here's the synopsis of the show of part one. Uh, part two, actually, of Once Upon a Time. Well, one Paul returns home. This is the turn of the universe plot. The second part, second half of the turn of the universe plot, and um, world plot. One Paul returns home to his wife Belle and their new born son. Unfortunately, Isaac is then waiting and tells him that his grandparents is about to be taken away if a boy, if a boy called Henry, succeeds to the quest to reverse the events of the new book. As he is without his real memories, Rumpel does not believe the story that Isaac is telling him about the book until Isaac mentions Belfire, the secret from his past that he's keeping from Belle. Isaac then tells him that he must warn Henry and Regina's parents to stop Robin and Regina, uh, Robin and Janina's wedding. In the start. Meanwhile, Henry goes to the Jolly Roger to receive recruit Hook and finds the pirate is now reported by Captain Blackbeard. But this reformed Hook, lacking in bravery, Henry has take care of Blackbeard himself before telling Hook that he must help him rescue his mother Emma from the tower. Henry and Hook um, stand towards the tower where Emma is locked away and produced to knock out the dark guard on duty. When Henry reaches Emma off the top, he's surprised to find out here he was able to keep her memories as part of a pure curse. As the crew escape on the ship, Emma, while getting to know her, explains that the guard was none other than Lily, who has the ability to transform into a dragon. Emma Hook, unable to shoot her down into the large room of the cabin before she attacks when, when they make a pit stop at the village, the three are caught by Snow and Charmin. Since Snow does not acknowledge Emma as her daughter, she plans to kill both Emma and Henry. Hook is unable to wound a stone sword but tries to defeat them anyway. 
he battles Charmin that is no match for the prince and snaps his head in the front of Emma. Um, I thought I thought we were gonna lose Hook. But no. He's back. Henry and Emma return to Virginia's cave. He asks to speak with Virginia alone. Emma tells that her that if she tells Robin the truth about her she feel, about how she feels everything will be fixed and they can both get their happy endings. With men they love and acknowledge that she never got chance to tell her how she really felt about it was too late. And the two of them arrive at the chamber to stop the wedding. They, but before they can do so, Ron Paul suddenly appears to stop them. Emma and Henry ch try to distract Ron Paul. As Virginia tries to work up the nerve to enter the ceremony, interrupt the ceremony, Emma avenges him in the fourth fight until he's able to knock her out temporarily. Ron Paul then arms his sword at Henry, but Virginia jumps in front of just in time to take on a hit herself and on to save Henry instead of recruiting Ron Paul and uh, Robin. No! I thought I was going to lose her instead as well in the story. But no. Moments later, Ron Paul, uh, Robin, and Selena um, extend the chamber. Robin um, rushes to Virginia's side and Selena's uh, IV starts to take over, causing her to start turning green. Um, Robin tells Virginia that she won't have to die alone. Isaac reappear, reappears and Emma demands that he restore everything back to normal after sh shocking him in the face. However, because Isaac broke the author code of never writing himself a happy ending, the quill no longer works for him. Henry then picks up the quill and it activates, meaning that he has been appointed as the new author using the guise of the light saviour. Regina's, oh, Regina's. Henry writes because of the Regina's sacrifice, Isaac was really his work as undone. Now here's the finale bit. Yes! The ending. The storybook. In the storybook, after the events are, are restored. As everyone awakes from the events, um, Emma runs to Hook and is revealed to him, find him alive. True enough, she's still unable to attend her love for him. God also, Gold also wakes up in his job back into Stein's state. Isaac leaves him, then heads out of the shop. Bell then enters the shop and finds him on the brink of death. She confronts him, but in his actions of late, and tells him that he already had his campaign with her before he threw it all away for power. And Gold begs her to go far, far away before his death completes, and only the dark one remains. Meanwhile, as Isaac goes away, the town um, um, town line he stops by Mary Margaret and David, who asks about his motives for messing with the story as the author. Isaac tells them that a lifetime of bad bosses and others who push him around influence him to hate heroes and side with the villains that he thought never go got a break. At the same time, Sorcerer Francis tells Henry more about his new powers as the author, which do not include the ability to restore the dead, such as Neil, since he died in the real world. He urges Henry to reset the temperature of embarrassing, embarrassing stories with the quill, and Henry responds by snapping it in half and saying no one should have that much power. That night, the people Storybook are all celebrating at Granny's dire um, diner. Lily tells Emma that she wants to find the identity of her father and parents of staying in Storybook during her search. All of a sudden, Belle goes up and tells everyone that the last bit of humanity in Gold's heart is about him turning 
black and the group finds gold unconscious, the apprentice then using his power to pull the darkness out of gold transforms into the sorcerer's hat. He then puts a pure white heart back into gold. However the hat is unable to go into the darkness and it is only seen through the apprentice. Emma then uses her light magic to pull the darkness back out of the apprentice. And the dark magic disappears out of the shop. And as the apprentice lays dying, he tells Emma and her that the darkness must be transmitted to a human soul that can be controlled with the dark one's dagger. And that the only person who can prevent the darkness from destroying all the realms is the sorcerer named Merlin, who lives in a place far away. The two then meet up with Mary Margaret, David, Regina, and Robin as the Four streets of storybook for the darkness, which then appears to attack Regina for assisting the dagger. Emma volunteers to defend, to defend herself from the darkness to prevent from destroying everyone and everything. Then, her telling her loved ones that she trusted that they will find a way to separate the darkness from once from her once again. She finally tells her that she loves him. Ah. And as he approves that her again sacrifice herself, but she only does go away. So anyway, so anyway, the darkness of violence being Emma, and then when it disappears, only Dagger is left behind. And as the shot zooms into it, it now reads the same, reads the name for the dark one, Emma Swan. Yeah. It was awesome, brilliant, epic, amazing, awesome, and heartwarming as well. This episode of the finale of all finales of Once Upon a Time. Yes, it was really good, brilliant, epic, amazing, awesome, wicked, and awesome at the same time. Yes, the big bad. All next season is Merlin. So the search, the quest for Merlin is upon us. So yeah, the classic Disney villain is Merlin. Oh yeah. Oh yes, it is. Oh yes, it is. Yes. So the verdict of this finale, at part two of the finale, the official finale of um, Once Upon a Time, I'm going to give it um, 9.6 out of 10 and so is A for us because it was really good and awesome at the same time. So I hope you'll see you guys coming out next will be The Simpsons. Uh, coming out next will be Game of Thrones. Well guys, I hope you'll see you guys um, subscribe, like and share and thumbs up. Bye!